Hey, Mike. Good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Good. Thank you. Uh, just wondering if you could tell us just kind of, uh, it seemed like you, it seemed like negotiations between you and the team uh, were agreed to pretty quickly. Can you kind of just tell us how the free agency process went for you and what ultimately was the most appealing about uh, coming back to this jazz organization? Well, yeah. Um, you know, going into free agency, uh, obviously it was um, something I wanted to kind of just weigh the market and see what, um, see what the market would, you know, demand in that in that sense. And um, saying that it, as we got closer and closer to the day uh, of free agency, you know, the you, you kind of can catch whispers of uh, rumors and you know things like that. And there wasn't really much, you know, going on. But I knew how the Jazz felt. I knew, you know, all the intentions of uh, what Ryan and Justin and you know the whole. Uh, front office and, and and you know how badly they they wanted to keep this this team together and 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 uh, you know it was a comfort it was a comfort zone here you know somewhere I I feel really comfortable I feel like I can continue to grow uh, continue to help this team uh, in any way shape or, or form to get to the next level and uh, you know essentially run it back essentially you know have the same team and add some pieces like we did in free agency and um, and see what we can do. Next up, Brian Miller, KSL. Hey, Mike, just how excited are you that Rudy Gay is coming along? And then how much did you play in his decision? Yeah, um, you know, once I kind of signed signed my deal or agreed uh, after, you know, the free agency started, uh, Justin and everybody's calling me, telling me to call Rudy and and see where he's at, like, you see what, see where his mind's at and, you know, I became like the, the a recruiter in a sense, and um, and you know Rudy was open to it. Rudy was uh, you know asked a lot of questions, just you know trying to get a feel of you know how he'd be used, the system, you know Utah as a whole, and our team, and um, and you know obviously he made made the decision to come come play with us, and I couldn't be more excited. You know he's a, a good friend of mine. Um, our families are close. It's just a really good situation and. I think he can really help us. Sarah Todd, Desert News. Mike, is, is that role, the recruiter, something that you're comfortable with, something that you've done before? Um, I've, I've done it a little bit, but kind of not at this capacity. I was like, you know, putting babies down for bed and having to drop them and go and go take a call because I'm trying to, you know, make sure we, we lock up a, a, you know, a guy like Rudy or, or whoever it may be. So um, I was really locked in on that and it was fun. It was cool to be, you know, included on that um, in that whole process. So uh, it definitely uh, is something that I can see myself doing. Tony Jones, The Athletic. Mike, in the overall scheme of things, um, <clears throat> You know, given where you where you guys want to be, how important is this year coming up for you guys? Well, I think it's very important. You know, I think it goes to you know say that you know we've made improvements each year. And I think we've gotten better each year. Um, last year was you know a disappointing end to it, but it, all the strides we've made along the way allow us to come into this season um, still chasing that you know that that you know. That championship, that that ultimate goal, and and something that is truly attainable, something that we can we can we can grasp. We're right there. We're knocking on the door, and um, I think with all you know, the guys we got coming back, guys we added um, in free agency is is you know the team is built for it. And uh, sometimes you just have to go through you know the ups and downs. You got to go through a little bit of adversity, and you know it might be in the in the tone of one or two years, and it seems like a long time, but um, sometimes that's what it takes, and, and hopefully it, 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 it builds character, it builds a championship team, a championship atmosphere that we can uh, go into this, this next season. Andy Larson, Salt Lake Tribune. Curious, Mike, in, in a previous interview, you said that kind of you and Rudy Gay share that kind of grit and grind mentality from year five and a half years together in Memphis, and I'm curious kind of what you think that can add to the culture of the Jazz and kind of uh, you know, or kind of how that interacts with the culture that the Jazz already set. Well, yeah, I, th I think you know, having 
even more guys who have been through, you know, what, what Rudy and I have been through as far as uh, the teams we've been on and how we've played and our mentality is, is, is just adds to what we're doing here. You know, obviously the Jazz have been a team that's been defensive minded and tough and um, and and we're just you know you add another guy who who brings another form of grit, another form of um, having been through the fire, have, have been through ups and downs, have seen a lot, um, a lot of leadership coming from him. So it, he'll just you know make the locker room that much better. And uh, I think a lot of guys' job a lot easier having another guy, another face, another voice um, who can who can you know be so positive for our team. Now Campbell, you tell us Hey Mike, so um, you had a pretty epic announcement video. Um, I think hands down, I said that you should get another Oscar for that. <laughs> um, so I wanna know as a creator, what was the creation process behind that? And whose idea was to use a local Wall Street? Yeah, so um, I hate to do this, but Donovan Mitchell actually sent me a, a small clip of Wolf of Wall Street like three or four days prior to that. And I saw it and I said, you know what? I'm going to flip this. I'm going to figure out how to use this. And I'm going to use it when I announce I'm coming back to the Utah Jazz. And from that point, I hit up Ryan Smith and, you know, everybody else like, yo, you know, when it's time, uh, this is what I want to do. And this is how I want to do it. And um, we had some help um, from my social media team, a couple of buddies and the uh, Ryan knows and Omar and work with Beats by Dre. He helped us a little bit, but um, actually a lot. Uh, he did a lot of it, but it, I mean, it was a, a team effort and uh, it ended up being really cool. So I'm, I was excited about it. Jeff Rainier, Fox 13. Yeah, Mike, I'm just wondering, you talked about being a recruiter, uh, you being a free agent, unrestricted free agent, the first time in your career coming off a great season. I was curious about you, how many people recruited you to come to their team? Yeah, uh, as it got closer to, you know, the, the week of uh, free agency, I started getting texts, texts and calls from several players um, just trying to, you know, kind of gauge the temperature or where I was at, what my mind was on, and if I was willing to leave or if I'm, you know, just gone and looking to move on somewhere else. So um, got a handful of calls from different, different players, and, uh, you know, obviously I told them I didn't know what I was doing. And uh, but in my mind, I kind of I was already kind of leaning towards Utah and um, it was just a better situation for the family and I. So it was a it was a cool little process. Jim Conlon, RCB Radio out of Ireland. Uh, hi, Mike. Uh, Mike, you mentioned about the Utah Jazz getting stronger this off season as well in terms of recruitment. Uh, how important is that coming back to a team knowing that they're adding what wasn't a successful uh, season last year, given that Lakers have torn up the books, uh, adding uh, Westbrook, given that Truman's gone to Philly, Lowry gone to Miami, all the big contenders have made massive moves this off season. So how important is it for the Jazz to keep striving forwards and getting stronger? Well, I think it's very important. I think it says a lot um, about what Ryan, Justin, um, whole management, our staff as a whole, um, the mindset is to, to, to chase this championship now, uh, to try to win now. And, and in order to do that, you have to be willing to make moves. You have to be willing to continue to be fluid and adjust. Um, even as the season goes on, um, you got, kind of have to do whatever it takes to give yourself the best opportunity to win. And seeing as other teams are doing the same thing, um, and I know that our team has been you know, up on the cap and stuff like that and over the cap. and uh, for us to still be making moves and still trying to make improvements and in every area and facet, um, whether that's on or off the court, it's important that you know that that they're showing that that their willingness to to win. All up from Sarah Todd. Mike, you said you were getting texts from players from other teams, but uh, I mean, you mentioned Donovan sending the Wolf Wall Street clip. I mean, were you hearing from guys from the Utah Jazz like? Hey man, make up your mind, or telling you that they wanted you to stick around. Uh, yeah, yeah, quite often. Um, you know, Joe Ingles was hit me up from Tokyo, and um, he was almost threatening me. I was a little worried for my life there, but 
uh, obviously Royce and Don and you know JC everybody we've all kind of kept in contact anyway we're in a group chat as it is so we talk uh, quite often but uh, you know they, they let me kind of go through the process but uh, at the same time when it got when push came to shove they were you know sitting there like all right you know are you coming back or what like we need to we need to get this thing going so um, they definitely were, were in my corner and um, pulling me back to Utah. Ben Anderson, KSLSports.com. Mike, how's your hamstring since the season ended and, and kind of what's your plan for the summer with it? Yeah, the hammy's been good. It's been really good. I've been training real hard and um, been going through a really good program to try to, you know, hopefully knock out these issues that have been creeping up in the last few years and, um, and you know, as far as uh, I guess what I've been doing is just you know a lot of uh, you know, like I said a lot of strength a lot of um, a lot of yoga a lot of stretching a lot of things I've kind of taken a uh, a liking to uh, that I haven't really done or um, added to my regiment but um, it's been good and I'm excited about the year I really am and I think it's going to be a, a good healthy one and it's going to continue to to do do my part and make sure I do everything under the sun to to you know, have my body in position to be at its peak. Next up, follow up from Andy Larson. Just Mike, in general, what have you been doing this off season? I guess besides that, and uh, you know, how much have you been able to stay in Salt Lake or been in Salt Lake, and, and kind of when do you? What's your kind of timeline on on that? I guess. Yeah, um, I've been been in Columbus, Ohio, most of the summer. Uh, a lot of family time. Been around the kids and. Haven't really traveled much um, up until this week. I, I went to Salt Lake for a few days, and now I'm in Vegas. So um, I'm about to watch a little bit of the summer league and work out with some of the guys. So uh, you know, it's been pretty mild, not much going on, and just been training and hanging out and enjoying the time. Uh, you know, while we have it. All right. Last question is going to be a follow up from Eric Walden. Mike, obviously there's the uh, ties there between you and Rudy, but what do you know about? the other new guys who the team has added this year and you know guys like Hassan and uh, Eric yeah um, I, I know Eric just through Donovan basically you know he's uh, you know, obviously they're really close and we've crossed paths many times and um, we got to play against him and, and know what kind of player and what he brings and his uh, versatility as a player and ability to guard and just his physical nature is going to be important for our team and um, Hassan actually you know, played on our uh, training camp and preseason uh, with the with the Grizzlies early on in his career when he was maybe a, probably a rookie. So uh, got to meet him a long time ago. Uh, so I know him pretty well, and uh, just seeing him now as a you know 30, 31 year old, uh, you know, grown up. You know, I just know what he's he's capable of doing, and his his you know his ceiling is really still really high. Um, and we're going to try to get as much out of him as, as we can and, and make him into the best player that he can be for this team. And um, he can definitely uh, be a game changer for our team.